Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to this special edition of the Running Report. And this is just a really Running Report that we just want to bring up three different topics that we're really just itching to talk about. And I, I just couldn't wait. Like, I want to really talk about these. And we're talking about that Paul Schlemo and Lopez beef. I know you guys all saw about that on Twitter and Insta. You guys all saw about that. Then I also want to talk about this dude, Nick Simmons, trying to break 11 and then he tweaked his hamstring. That's a pretty interesting topic, but I want to get into that. Then also, we got to talk about the Youngin, the Youngin coming up in AAU Junior Olympic Nationals, the girl Shyel Johnson, she won the 15, the 800, and the 400. She's a beast. Like, come on. So we got to get into these topics. And I brought in my dude, Aaron Potts. You already know. We got to bring him back in for this one. And so let's just get right into the video. What's up, Aaron? How you doing, bro? It's been, it's been a minute, but how you been? How you been? Bro, I'm good. Always good. Always love being on the running report, man. You know what it yeah, is. Bro. Shout out everybody. How y'all doing? Hey, but let's just get right into it, bro. Like, did you hear about this beef? Have you I've been seeing it on Twitter and Instagram? Bruh, I love it. I love you it. Love it? A good time Me too. Track and feel, bro. Hey, sorry for interrupting you guys real quick, but I feel like I didn't really explain this beef like that well and really the background where why this is happening so basically two weeks ago at usa's paul chlimo woody kincaid and lopez mong were all in that race and chlimo was trying to get his third straight usa championship lamont was trying to be a back-to-back -back champion in the 5,000 and the 10,000 because he won the 10,000 about two nights before the kincaid was just kind of just there <laughs> i'm just saying i think he was really there just to really prove himself and he showed that straight out the gun and they went out in a 409 when chlimo was leading a blistering pace and then from that point Shlemo he seemed like he just didn't want to lead anymore uh, he was kind of playing games with the field and he eventually he went off to the side of the track basically and slowed down and let Kincaid take the lead and went right behind him and the rest of the field caught up to them eventually and they came down to a kicker's race and they battled to the finish and Lamont crossed the line with the win and Kincaid got third and Shlemo finished in second and so basically this beef is really stemming from is that that Lamong and Kincaid, they didn't get the standard when they finished in those two top spots. Instead, it went to Hassan Amid and Drew Hunter to go into Worlds because they had the standard. And I think Chalene was feeling some type of way because they didn't want to take the lead. And it just kind of makes sense because why would you want to take the lead if you didn't have the standard to push the pace? But then maybe on Kincaid and Lamong's perspective, they're thinking, if you're going to go out so fast, you better lead this entire thing. So. I don't know like what we're doing, but there's beef. There's beef in the track world and we want to talk about it. So where's the beef, baby? Where's it at? I don't know why I'm so hyped. Let's 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 get back to the video. I love this is what we need. Back and forth, man. So, so basically roasting these people, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw when I saw uh Lopez respond back, that's when I was like, oh, this is for real. So let's get on to the first post. So first Paul Schlemo posted, this is like a week after USA's. He's just posting out, just roasting people with this uh, picture right here. You can see on the screen now, but his caption was, they will always draft on you because they can't take the heat. Boom, roasted. And he said, just go hard or suffer the rest of your life. That's his tagline. But then when I knew this was beef is when Lopez posted this interesting photo of him with him smiling at the man Chalimo and he said when you thought you run away from the field again and this is this is the, this is the kicker look at this hashtag Bruh, go hard you unless you go with you unless they go with you and that's just like uh, Chalimo's hashtag that he puts on all of his posts so I was all like oh dang this is heating up then the comments they were all chirping everyone everybody was getting mad and everything and <laughs> one of the things the key things that I saw is when uh, William Kincaid, he got third in this race, was also, was not going with Limo, and he got out kicked at the end. If you take the heat, Lopez would win the final. And then Paul Chlimo responded, he was like, ha ha ha, they well, you're not going because you couldn't make the cut. Boom. Roasted. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> everybody is shooting, shots were fired, just, wait, how, how, how do you feel about this? I'll get in my, I have my take, but how do you feel about this whole type of beef going on right now. Hey, bang, bang. That's how I feel about it. Bang, bang. You know, hey, I, I, I love it, bro. First of all, I love it. But come on now, like, <laughs> okay, that picture of Lopez is priceless, bro. Yeah, that money. was perfect. He, did he see the camera? Did he see the camera and smile at it right there? He may have. Like, to be honest, there was probably a personal photographer looking for that for sure. Hey, shout out to his caption, though. 
Shout out to his caption, bro. That was hard. Like, that was hard. His, his caption game was on, so I'm really impressed with that. But you got to really catch the hashtag. What did it say again? Lopez said, go hard unless unless they go with you. And they didn't. I don't know. But I got two things. Two things about this that I have to put on here right now. The first one is that from this I saw, Chalimo is a beast. Because basically, this dude dictated the race the entire way. He was telling them to come, they wouldn't come. This dude was acting like King Chaz in the pin relays back in the day in that 4 by mile They're scared really of this was, man. Though. They're scared of him. He, he really was. And then my hey, second when thing. when Kate ain't scared, though. Home, homeboy, when Kate ain't scared, he was shooting at the cops. This, <laughs> he was shooting he at the scared. cops, bro. This man could Kate. That's my second thing. He needs to sit down. This man is, is all up on, he's all up on Lopez. How you about to lose to Shalimo and then be in the background saying, hey, hey, he, he would have beat you. He would have beat you. He would have took the heat. Come on, bro. You look at Shalimo right now. Your team, you you got to hold down your boy, though. He was trying to hold down his teammate. So I respect that. You know, that's the homie. I mean, I wouldn't be talking if I was him, you know, because. Cause Chalimo, Chalimo straight roasted him. He, he took did. his whole life away. He, well, I, all I gotta say is that Kincaid really knows the price of a mile because he knew that price of that 409 was gonna hurt. That's why he didn't want to go with him. Boom, roasted. But shout out to the oh. pod. I really like it. I'm sorry, Kincaid. I just I have to bring it up. You know the price oh. of the mile though. That's why you slowed down. It's it's cool though. I would have done the same thing. Oh, I would have done the like that. Hey, Chalimo, that was mean, bro. Chalimo. <laughs> that, you know it that was. was mean. That's why you didn't make you didn't make the cut, bruh. And you were laughing <laughs> in his face. Hey, I know you was really laughing when you put that on there too. For real, Chalimo. he was. Like, he was cracking he up. Funny dog. You, we need to get him on the show. He funny, bro. Hey, he hey, I would love him. But let's get on to this next topic and talk about Nick Simmons. And Nick Simmons, for these past seven months, he's been training hard, trying to break 11 minutes. This is the past Olympian. He ran 142 in the 800. He was one of my favorite runners at the time when he was running the eight and he was breaking 11, but he ran 11.5 in his like third race. Then he was gonna run one more and then he tweaked his hamstring. It was a lot of big like news in hamstring. the running world. Yeah, 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 he tweaked his hamstring and he didn't end up racing the last one. And he also has aspirations to go on next year in 2020 to still break 11. He's still going on. But no, I wanna, Aaron, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this whole entire situation of him trying to go break 11? And do you think this hey. man will? First thing I want to say is, hey, Nick Simmons, what's up? I like run gum. Run gum tastes good. Run gum is good, bro. I'm about it. I like the caffeine and the gum thing. You you go in there like, that's cool. That's mm -hmm. cool. Hey, I'm big fan of Nick Simmons, bro. I respect this man. But, bro, stop. Don't lie to the people, bro. Come hey, on to what? the show if you're not lying. But still, don't don't lie to the people, bro. What I know he wasn't really training, dog. I know uh. he wasn't really training, bro. That's why you got hurt. That's why you hurt your. That's why you strained your hamstring. I don't know, man. Training. I think he was putting in the work, bro. This guy has ran one forty two, or what? One forty one. Either way, this is Olympian. He didn't even have a coach out there. He didn't have nobody, bro. Did anyone help you with block starts, bro? No, like, he did. On, there was a video. Respect the sprinting game like that. You gotta go out at full force. You Olympian. I'm calling you out. I know you could work harder, bro. My only thing <laughs> is that there were. There were some fur, there were some uh, videos of him like doing the block starts, but I don't know if he was out there every single day doing the block starts. That's the thing. He may have just been doing it for the views. But, oh like, dang! Was he just? Oh dang! <laughs> was he just doing it for the views, or was he actually running? That's he was doing it for the views, bro. But it's all Nick, good though. Nick hey, Simmons, come on here and clear your name. Come clear your yeah, name. Let me please. get some run go. <laughs> And we're going to move on to this next topic and we're going to talk about the young game coming up winning the AAU Junior Olympics in the 15, 8, and the 4. But for this one, I got to bring in the old pops. I got to bring in the old head. I got to bring in... Okay, 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 okay. I know I said we're going to talk about Shyel Johnson and Chad Johnson in this video, but in the next conversation, I brought in my dad and I mean, Aaron's still on the thing too. And it kind of just, he started talking for a minute. So I just wanted to make it a separate video so we get that whole conversation down. So if you just want to click over this direction, I think it'll be like right here, somewhere right here, you can click that video. You can click it, go ahead, click it, watch the second part, and then comment down what you think 